Well, good morning and good evening and good afternoon. It's Chris. Welcome, everyone. We're going to have uh, an enjoyable time today. We're going to practice on a teapot. Um, a lot of times, uh, we, uh, as watercolor artists, we we sometimes might go to a, a workshop or um, maybe we have a local art school we go to and someone brings something there that we're, we're going to draw and paint and we haven't drawn it, you know, we haven't done it before and it's kind of more, you know, very challenging and difficult. So on this video I just wanted to do uh, something that um, I got this just recently. I ordered this online. It's a really uh, beautiful teapot. It's very ornate. Uh, it's kind of got the Christmas type of uh, uh, decorations on it um, with some uh, berries and uh, 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 nice uh, green um, leaves and things and some gold um, some gold um, I guess uh, ornate uh, paint as well so this is uh, something we can practice and I've maybe done a few teapots I think from other people's work from books and things but this is uh, sort of new that I have in the studio and I figured uh, I does it make sense to maybe once in a while uh, take something that you haven't drawn before and just try to go for it and go for the gusto and try it. Um, I hope you take that um, idea and go for it because uh, you'll find that as long as you um, practice the simple procedures that we have, the techniques that we have here on my channel, you're never going to have an issue with trying something new. It's just a matter of if it's something you're familiar with, you're drawing or painting, obviously, um, you know, you're going to go in and and you're not going to, you know, you're sort of on autopilot. You're just going in, you're doing it, you've already done it before. Let's say it's a bow or um, a flower or maybe a coffee cup or something or teacup. You know, things like that you've done quite a few times. You know, you're not going to really struggle with it too much. But it is good to kind of get yourself out there and do some uh, more difficult, challenging uh, subject matter. So that, you know, you can just build up your, uh, you know, your muscles, so to speak, when you, as an artist. Um, so that uh, if you do come across something that uh, you haven't done before, you can just say, hey, you know what, I have the techniques of how to do it. So we'll, we'll cover that right now. We'll, we're going to take this ornate teapot and we're going to set it across on our foam board, white foam board, foam board here in the studio. So I'm just going to set it up across from me. And again, the white foam board is just simply, uh, I have two large pieces of foam board, maybe um, they're probably uh, 24 inch by 24 inch, each piece of foam board. And... This is a mini version of it, so I just have this, and I have it taped together, and I have it, you know, sitting across from me on my table. So that makes my backdrop for my my teapot here. So I sit this across from me, and then we just have our normal setup: fresh water, a sponge to check some water, and our palette. So we have our palette with our nice moist paint, and I'll use a number five retractable pencil here today. So I'm going to make sure I'm in the picture here. We'll, we'll draw out a, um, as we always do, we'll draw out a um, just a rectangle so that we know we're in the we're in the picture here. Okay, so we're not going to need all that space. Now the first thing we, we like to do when we're contour drawing and setting up to do a, a drawing and a painting is um, if it's a challenging um, object, let's say you're going to try something that you really haven't done a lot, it's always great to do what we call a preliminary sketch, which is basically just a super very light sketch of the object to sort of get the basic proportions of it. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm looking at the teapot and I'm saying, okay, the teapot is um, pretty much round, you know, very, very round shaped. So we'll, I'll make a round shape like this 
and then I'm going to say that the handle over here is it's about uh, that size and then over here we have the uh, the spout portion and we're going to Okay, so now that's a preliminary sketch. It's probably hard to see even from the uh, our It might be difficult to see here. But I just basically got the uh, general idea of the size of the main um, portion of the teapot and then I just sort of lightly sketched the um, the spout and the handle on this side and now I can contour draw it pretty accurately I think from this light preliminary sketch I'll use this as my guide so I'll start over here and I think looking at this you'll see that And I'll continue and uh, I go slow if I'm checking the angles. Now I'm going to look across from me. I'm going to use my pencil. So I'll take my pencil and I'll just hold it up in front of my eyes across from me so that I make sure I, I get the proper height of the spout according to the uh, top of the uh, lid of the um, teapot. So I'll set that across from me and I'll say okay it's it's basically one here. It's about right there. And that's pretty close. Alright so I have that pretty close and then I'll some curves and things on the on this teapot that I'm not going to necessarily uh, get really too um, f f you know f um, f I'm not going to fuss over some of the real fine details there's some tiny like curves like this but I'm just going to keep these lines a little more just curved and I'll be happy if, if I can get a good rendering of this here without uh, getting too and the same thing here I'm going to try to get where that handle top of the handle is so I'll hold my pencil out in front of my eyes and hold it uh, in front of the teapot just so I can kind of see where the top of the handle is and it is about here so that should be my mark about there now here I'm going to try to do a nice
Okay, so that's that's pretty good. I there is a bit of I just wanted to capture that small detail where the lid fits into the actual uh, opening of the um, teapot here. So the lid, you can see the the line between the lid and the actual teapot here, and there's where it rests. The lid rests into this, and then I'm just going to indicate some details here. and also here. So I'm going to draw in some of the... I'll start here in the center for some of the details. And I'm not going to get too exact, I don't think. I, I, I don't want to go... Sometimes less is more. Less is more. So maybe I'm going to kind of keep that idea in mind. Less is more. Um, I don't want to move the pot back in front of the camera here so you can see it, the teapot. But um, you, you'll probably recall back to the beginning of the video when I first showed the teapot. It had a, quite a bit of um, ornamentation on the, uh, the teapot. So instead of getting too detail with that part. I'm just going to let it go with a few uh, ornamental ideas on this and then uh, I tend not to like there's a there is a gold line that comes down here like that. I'd rather leave it plain. I So I'm going to leave that the way it is and uh, so I'm pretty Happy with this is the way it looks here. I'm going to put a little shadow in, like so. Then I'm going to uh, the back of the table is here or the uh, foam board, so I'll make that. And then we're going to paint. Now I think this is, um, let's do this in two parts because I think if I try to start painting this now it's going to get a little bit close to the time uh, limit for my camera, for my video camera. So let's, let's keep this the way it is here. Um, and I think I might change my lighting over by the um, teapot. I think I need some more brighter light over the top of it. So um, let's, we'll, I'll try to get some better lighting on the top of the teapot where my setup is across from me on my foam board. And then we'll come back and we'll paint it. So let's do a part two of this beautiful, lovely teapot. Lots of detail. And again, um, in part two, we'll recap what we did here in part one, just in case you want to skip ahead and go to part two. So no worries. And we'll see you in just a few.